Hi guys. Right, so I'm going to be showing you how to turn your Android tablet into a pretty much full gaming PC via uh, NVIDIA Game Stream. This is only accessible to people who have, I believe, certain types of NVIDIA graphics card that support the GeForce Experience Game Stream option. Um, so what we'll be using is this Samsung Galaxy Tab S2, 9.7-inch. Uh, it's quite a powerful tablet which allows me to stream at 1080p, um, even goes up to 1440p. Um, I've got a quite a quick broadband connection, 60 megs. And um, so we'll be using that. We're going to be using this Bluetooth keyboard that I picked up for £20. And this mouse, which I picked up for £4. Um, you will need, which you can see connected here, an on-the-go adapter. It allows um, my, uh, USB to micro USB input. Now you can use a Bluetooth mouse with a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, you can pair both at the same time. Um, I've chosen to go for, well, a, 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 this kind of mouse because uh, it's easier to get hold of in the shops and doesn't cost as much as a Bluetooth mouse. Plus you've got to worry about batteries. Um, so I'll be hooking this uh, keyboard up to the uh, to the tablet um, by Bluetooth. It's got about 20 hours of life in it. So it's brilliant. It charges in about three hours. Um, it's got a, a, a micro USB charging cable for it. Um, it also has this slot here to support your Android tablet, which is brilliant for on-lap usage. Um, you could obviously go for a normal one, but then you have to buy a case, you could prop it up. So I'm just going to insert the tablet here. Um, switch the tablet on. Lock the screen. Okay. So the software we will be using to do the stream uh, is a piece of software called Moonlight Root. Now, I use the rooted version because uh, the unrooted version doesn't support mouse uh, input. I'm not sure if it supports keyboard input, but the unrooted version is mainly for playing on a gamepad. If you want to use a mouse and keyboard, which obviously makes playing games like MMOs and people who prefer to use a mouse and keyboard um, a lot easier, uh, you have to use the rooted version. So I rooted this tablet, took me three minutes, um, and downloaded the rooted version. So the keyboard is connected, I believe. did that earlier, as is the mouse. So we'll go ahead and launch the software. There we go, so you can see the mouse cursor there. Uh, this is a library of all the games that I have on my PC that have been found by the GeForce Experience um, program on my computer, which is downstairs. Um, you can add um, games to this um, that don't uh, that the uh, the software doesn't pick up. It also has access to the Steam Dash, which is brilliant, so I can play all my Steam games. So. I'm playing World of Warcraft here, so I'm just going to click World of Warcraft. And I did start a session earlier because uh, this isn't booting it through the launcher, so I have to put a code in my authenticated code. So I've done that already, so it's running on my PC in the background. So as you can see here, I started a session, so I'm just going to resume this session. So handshakes quickly, and there we can see mouse pointer working. Um, full streaming, this is at 1080p 60fps, which is what you do get a bit of lag every now and again as it updates, but it lasts for about three or four seconds, and then it's fine. So we'll just go in, load into the game. As you can see in the top left, I have my um, MSI overlay as well. So there we have it, fully functional.